Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstoday.com my name is Ramandeep Singh and students today we are going to do IRAC norms that's a master circular prudential norms on income recognition asset classification and provisioning pertaining to advances basically NPA ke regarding guidelines hain reserve bank of india ki very important from examination point of view whether you are preparing for IBPS RRB scale 2 IBPS RRB scale 2 scale 3 ki agar aap tiyari kar rahe ho or if you are preparing for MP Apex Bank MP Apex uh, Bank SO ya aap abhi Punjab and Sindh Bank ka bhi exam aaya hai uh, Punjab and Sindh Bank uh, SO credit officer or forex officer this topic is very important today I'm going to discuss IRAC norms in the forms of MCQs repeated questions yahi questions bar bar repeat ho rahe hain basically uh, kya samajhne wali baat hai uh, in the irac norms pehle to definition of npa npa ka definition kya hai aur provisions provisions kya hai that's what we are going to understand today and mp apex bank manager 2024 course is available on bankexamstudy.com also, you can take the financial awareness code separately for IBPS, RRB, Scale 2 and Scale 3. Links are available in the description. Please check. Uh, we'll start with the question number one. What is the definition of NPA uh, according to RBI? If an asset stops generating any uh, cash, uh, stops generating any income for 90 days, then it becomes an NPA. Very common question, right? Easy question, I would say. Uh, Asan question hai. which of the following is not in category of NPA so there are uh, substandard assets doubtful assets and the loss assets but perf uh, performing asset it's itself is not an NPA performing asset NPA to hua hi nahi na, right so rest of these these three are the kinds of NPAs but performing asset this is an asset which is generating income okay uh, what is the provisioning requirement for substandard assets? Now that is an important question. According to IRAC norms, what is the provisioning requirement for substandard assets? That is 15% of outstanding amount. For substandard assets, it is 15% of outstanding amount. So for substandard asset, uh, which are NPA for period less than or equal to 12 months, more than 90 days, more than 90 days, but less than 12 months, 90 days se zyada, 12 months se kam, then the banks they need to make a, a provision of 15% of the outstanding amount. Okay. <clears throat> what do you mean by out of order? Out of order. So similarly, uh, see, in the cash credit, CC account jo hote hai, cash credit wale ya overdraft accounts hai, right? Usme NPA ka concept nahi hai, right? Uh, we call them out of order. So in a cash credit account, uh, conditions hain. if there is no credit entry, koi credit entry nahi hui hai account mein, and there is an outstanding amount, right? That can be the condition and uh, credit is not sufficient to cover the interest, not sufficient to cover, to cover interest or the amount is outstanding for more than 90 days 90 days is zyada outstanding hai amount in that cases the cc account becomes uh, out of order status right so an account is out of order if the outstanding balance remains uh, continuously in excess of the sanction limit for 90 days. Sanction limit se, sanction limit 5 lakh rupay hai, aapne 6 lakh rupay ka nikal ke rakhe hai, 90 din se zyada, then your account becomes out of order. Also, agar koi credit entry hi nahi hai, pure month mein, to wo bhi out of order ban jayega, 90 days mein koi credit entry nahi hai, ya uh, in a month, you are not able to cover the interest cost. So that is also out of order ho jata hai. What is the provision requirement for doubtful asset for period up to one year? 50% of the outstanding amount. Okay. For doubtful assets, uh, 
फॉर एन पी एज फॉर पीरियड एक्सीडिंग ट्वेल्व मंथ्स तो फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ आउटस्टैंडिंग अमाउंट का प्रोविजन रखना पड़ेगा लॉस एसेट का तो हंड्रेड परसेंट है ठीक है सो विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज कंसिडर्ड एज लॉस्ट एसेट्स एसेट्स दैट हैज बिन आइडेंटिफाइड एज अनकलेक्टेबल बाय द बैंक और इंटरनल एक्सटर्नल ऑडिटर बैंक मान चुका है कि ये पैसे नहीं आने वाले राइट विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज ट्रू अबाउट द इनकम रिकोगशन पॉलिसी सी इन केस ऑफ एन एन पी एसेट जो एसेट एन हो चुका है उसमें जब भी कैश आएगा तभी उसको इनकम मानेंगे जो परफॉर्मिंग एसेट है जिस पर रेगुलरली आपका ई एम आई आ रहा है इन दैट केस इट इज़ ऑन द अक्रूवल बेसिस इट इज़ ऑन द अक्रूवल बेसिस दैट मीन्स इफ द अमाउंट इफ द ई एम आई इज ड्यू ऑन फर्स्ट ऑफ एवरी मंथ इफ इट इज ड्यू ऑन फर्स्ट ऑफ एवरी मंथ इट विल बी रिकोगनाइज एज एन इनकम ऑन फर्स्ट ऑफ एवरी मंथ इन केस ऑफ एन एन बी एसेट दैट इज अः यू नो दैट इज ऑन द कैश बेसिस ठीक है इनकम शुड बी रिकोगनाइज ऑन अ कैश बेसिस फॉर एन पी ए फॉर परफॉर्मिंग एसेट इट इज ऑन द अक्रूवल बेसिस इन हाउ मेनी कैटेगरीज बैंक आर रिक्वायर टू क्लासीफाई नॉन परफॉर्मिंग एसेट्स इन द थ्री कैटेगरीज देर आर सब स्टैंडर्ड एसेट्स डाउटफुल एसेट्स एंड द लॉस्ट एसेट्स सो अप टू नाइन्टी डेज अप टू नाइन्टी डेज एन एसेट रिमेन्स परफॉर्मिंग एसेट अप टू नाइन्टी डेज एन एसेट रिमेन्स परफॉर्मिंग एसेट आफ्टर नाइन्टी डेज टिल ट्वेल्व मंथ्स इट बिकम्स सब स्टैंडर्ड एसेट्स इफ एन इफ एन एसेट इज पेंडिंग फॉर मोर देन नाइन्टी डेज अगर आपने तीन महीने तक अपनी आपके जो अकाउंट में ड्यूज पेंडिंग है तो आप एक एन पी ए बन जाते हो फ्रॉम नाइन्टी डेज टू वन वन ईयर इट्स अ डाउटफुल एसेट आफ्टर वन ईयर द बैंक में मार्केट एज एन यू नो किसी भी डाउटफुल एसेट को बैंक में मार्केट एज अ लॉस एसेट उसको लॉस्ट एस एसेट भी बोल सकते हैं कि इससे रिकवर नहीं होने वाला सो एडवांस अगेंस्ट टर्म डिपॉजिट नेशनल सेविंग सर्टिफिकेट एंड आई वी पी इंदिरा विकास पत्र और किसान विकास पत्र एंड लाइफ पॉलिसीज दे शुड नॉट बी ट्रीटेड एज एन पी एन पी एज बिकॉज आई मीन द बैंक दे कैन सेल दॉस टर्म पॉलिसीज दॉस किसान विकास पत्र तो उसको बेच के अपने पैसे पूरे किए जा सकते हैं क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेल्व नेट एन पी ए नेट एन पी एज ग्रॉस एन पी ए माइनस ऑल द प्रोविजन अंडर रियलाइज इंटरेस्ट जो इंटरेस्ट कभी मिली नहीं है राइट एंड अदर क्रेडिट बैलेंसेज एडजस्टेड सो डी इज अ करेक्ट आंसर वट इज यू आर आई सो बेसिकली फॉर नाइन्टी डेज नाइन्टी डेज अकाउंट रिमेन्स परफॉर्मिंग आपने पहली इंस्टॉलमेंट नहीं दी फिर भी आपका अकाउंट परफॉर्मिंग ही है दूसरे मंथ के बाद भी परफॉर्मिंग है राइट बट द बैंक हैज रिकग्नाइज योर टू मंथ्स ऑफ और थ्री मंथ्स ऑफ ई एम आई एज इनकम उसको वो एज ए इनकम रिकग्नाइज कर चुका है बैंक क्योंकि तब आप परफॉर्मिंग एसेट थे सो दैट इज अनरियलाइज इंटरेस्ट इज ऑल्सो देर ओके सो प्लीज रिमेंबर दिस फॉर्मूला on which basis income is recognized on performing asset performing asset there are good people right so it's on accrual basis on np it's on cash basis theek hai if the bank is not able to recover interest or installment for a term loan for 90 days then on which basis the income should be recognized on the actual receipt or cash basis cash basis or actual receipt same thing okay What is the desirable provision coverage ratio for NPA? It is seventy percent. Is the desired provision covering ratio for NPAs? A bill purchased discounted account should be treated as NPA if the bill remain overdue for ninety days. Common same question repeated. When the balance outstanding in cash credit remains in excess of its drawing power for 90 days the account becomes an out of order ye npa nahi banta hai out of order because in cash credit and overdraft there is out of order concept uh, so let's move forward in case of overdraft cash credit account which concept is applied out of order concept is applied not the npa a dairy loan account a dairy loan account is not an agriculture account please remember that okay so same business wala concept lagega 90 days wala in case of agriculture please note uh, 
if the installment principal or interest thereon remains overdue for two crop season for short duration crops or one crop duration for long duration crop if it is overdue for that period then it becomes npa baki sare cases mein 90 days wala concept hai agriculture ka alag hai when does term loan becomes uh, npa when interest or installment of principal remain overdue for more than 90 days in a loan account where the principal or interest is overdue for a period up to 30 days and account has been showing balance of incipient stress it will be classified as what it will be sma zero account so even before three months the rbi wants the banks to classify the loans as sma zero sma one and sma two for uh, the loans which are overdue for more than one day but up to 30 days uh, it is sma zero so if it uh, if, if it is between th uh, overdue for 31 to 60 days it is sma one if it is overdue for uh, between 61 to 90 days it is sma two uske baad to nba ka concept hai, right so before nba there is sma concept in a in a case of cash credit if interest of uh, principal is not service for 90 days, what is the position of account? Cash credit may be out of order concept, chalta, right? So an account should be treated as an out of order. Ye teen conditions are important. Hai. If uh, the balance remains, uh, you know, if outstanding balance remains continuously in excess of sanction amount for more than 90 days. Aapka limit hai 5 lakh, aapne 6 lakh rupay uh, withdraw kare hoon hai. For more than 90 days, you are an out of order status wala account holder. Thik hai. In case where outstanding balance in principal operating amount is less than, uh, you know, sanction amount. Thik hai, aapka 5 lakh ka limit hai. Aapka 5 lakh ka limit hai. But aapne 4 lakh rupay withdraw kare hoon hai, right? But there is no credit transaction in the whole period. आपने कुछ पैसा जमा ही नहीं किया जाके और इन केस द इंटरेस्ट ऑन दिस काइंड ऑफ सर्विस योर क्रेडिट्स आर नॉट इवन इफ देयर आर सम क्रेडिट्स योर क्रेडिट्स आर नॉट सफिशिएंट टू कवर द इंटरेस्ट इंटरेस्ट लग गया 10000 रुपए का आपने 10000 रुपए जमा ही नहीं करे आपने 2000 रुपए जमा करे देन यू बिकम आउट ऑफ ऑर्डर स्टेटस वाला सीसी अकाउंट होल्डर ठीक है प्लीज रिमेंबर दीस थ्री पॉइंट्स आर देयर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट an agriculture account becomes NPA when the installment of uh, principal or interest thereon remain, you know, uh, overdue for more than uh, one crop se uh, season uh, in case of long duration crops or two crop season for uh, short duration crops. Yaad rakhe, important hai. A, a cash credit account showing uh, shows credits amounting 50,000 over the last two months but the interest is 1,65,000 interest cover nahi ho rahi hai, so it's an out of order uh, cash credit account. Okay, these three conditions. So please remember that. Take the screenshot if you want to. A term loan is treated as NPA if interest and installment of principal remain overdue for more than 90 days. 90 days ka concept sab jaga Which of the following advances will not be treated as NPA? if adequate margin is available in the accounts. So uh, gold ka obviously nahi cover hota hai because gold ka value upar niche jata hai. But uh, Kisan, Vikas Patra, NSC, Indira Vikas Patra, advances against uh, your FDs, they are like, uh, they cannot become NPAs. The banks, they have authority to sell off these, uh, you know, instruments and recover their money. But in case of gold instruments, that is not the case. And uh, banks, they give you loan against gold ornaments. They do never give you loan against gold bars. Gold bar ke against loan nahi milta. Misha gold ornaments ke against loan milta. A project loan sanctioned on 1st of January 2018 for 30 crores with moratorium on payment of interest and installments. Answer it yourself. Uh, 1st of January may 15 month ka moratorium hai then 90 days to waise milta hai nba hone se pehle so 1st of july 2019 tak aap jo hai nahi pay karoge to ban jaoge npa so the provisioning requirement for doubtful assets is 100% 
so period for which advance uh, advance has remained doubtful for up to one year provision requirement is 25 percent now one to three years 40 percent more than three years 100 percent the update hai. for doubtful category okay so for doubtful category up to one year 25 percent right substandard ka 15 tha for doubtful 25 percent up to one year 40 percent uh, for one to three year for more than three years 100 percent yeah, important as a screenshot up lay sakte ho if you want to. Okay. The asset would be classified as doubtful if it is uh, if it remains substandard for more than 12 months. So provisioning coverage ratio is the ratio of provisioning to the gross NPA. Aapke paas kitna provision hai as compared to gross NPA. So that was a pretty comprehensive uh, class, I would say within 15, 16 minutes, I covered the whole IRAC norms with the help of MCQs. Uh, you can go in depth actually. Now, if you try to read the IRAC norms, you will be able to read it. It's difficult, hai, right? If you try to master circular, it will be a little bit of a problem. It's not easy. Hai. These same questions would be repeated in your MPA, PIX Bank Manager uh, exam, Credit, ka ho, chai Forex, ka ho, even in IBPS, RRB scale 2, scale 3, Punjab and Sindh Bank, Credit Officer, in any Credit Officer level exam, Forex or the Journalist Officer exams, the same questions are actually repeated. You will see these questions dekhne ko milenge. Don't worry. So, you will see this question. So, you can join the MP Apex Bank Manager uh, for the admin uh, or for the credit, for the nodal officer. You can join the same course. The link is available in the description. We are also providing the test series uh, for this, uh, you know, exam. And I am making all the questions myself. It, I make questions every day myself and I share those questions with you. So, a list of our successful students, all these students, they took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams and I'm really, really happy for them. These are like latest two, three months. Uh, in the last two, three months, all these students, they cracked their exam. I took interviews of Satvinder and Kriti Mishra. So I, I mean, aadha, aadha ka session hota hamara, so I did that with them. So I know them personally. Yeah, uh, so I'm very, very happy for them. Zala dar logon ka mene mock interview kiya hua hai, but inka shayad nahi kiya hoga itne ka. IBPS is so marketing for IBPS RRB scale 2, scale 3. I'm really happy when I see these happy faces. Kyunki in mein se bhoot saare logon ka mene mock interview kiya hua hai. Jab interview ki tiyari karte hai, we do mock interviews. And when I see their pictures, aur mujhe inki photo lagane ka jab mocha milta hai. And they also feel good that now they are like Hall of Fame. I will show photo of their new students. Ko. Testimonial kind of thing, right? So I also get happy and students also get happy. And maybe you will feel uh, more confident that they are students. I mean, my goal is not only my goal. My goal is that I am very happy for them. These are very good students. Se. There are some people who take two years, three years, some people take two months. So, don't worry, continue So, it's about your whole career. You have graduation, schooling, and you have to do it. 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 So, it's totally fine. What time do you This is the last step. Okay. So, go for it. Start your preparations and stay with us. Uh, subscribe the channel and like this video. And that's all for today, students. Thank you and have a very nice day. Bye-bye.